Hey, it's Dustin. Welcome to the shop here at Steel Dog Fabrication. Tonight, we have a trailer we need to repair. So the customer gave me a list of things to do. First order of business, this expanded metal, it's got to go. It's too thin, it wasn't welded in the middle, and it's falling apart. The next thing, on this front frame, this is 2x2 two two eighth inch angle iron, uh, it was bent and then cut and removed, so we also need to repair that. And this little thing here on the side needs to go. First order of business, we're going to get out the plasma cutter. We're going to put in the arc gouging consumables. And we're going to cut off this grate. Then take the paint off where we're going to weld it. And go ahead and cut the new piece of number 9 3 quarter raised expanded metal to weld onto the back. Now when doing a repair like this, you want to be really careful not to gouge into the base material where you're not going to have enough to weld your piece to. As you can see here, I'm jumping around quite a bit just to make sure that the heat is more evenly distributed so we don't have to deal with any problems with the warping. Now we're gonna cut some pieces for this section and get those grafted in. Here you can see I'm measuring the pieces that are going between. I'm using just my little DeWalt porta band, which is really handy for cutting smaller pieces. Making sure to get a good bevel on every place I'm gonna weld. And here I set up some pieces of angle iron to keep everything nice and straight so I can get the top piece fitted on there, get it welded, and then we'll switch to and start cutting the pieces for the front that were damaged and then removed. Once again, the porta band comes in clutch for jobs like this. This side fit up pretty good and didn't have any issues welding it. This side had a little bit of a gap at the bottom, so I kind of had to spot weld it together. Which is okay, because it's not a major structural component of the trailer. And lastly, get wrapped up with uh, removing this damaged light piece here on the side the customer wanted gone. So this is getting recorded at a later date. I kind of forgot to film the rest of working on the trailer, but after getting those pieces off, I got things cleaned up and I shot some rattle can on there. Uh, didn't need anything too fancy, but uh, yeah. So hope you liked the video. It's kind of a short one today. They were starting their diesel in the middle of the night, but uh, yeah. Hope we will catch you in the next one.